What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in this week's course on my Patreon I'm going to be covering the topic of interior design in Revit. Well, actually it's a broad topic but in this week's one hour course we're going to be going over just some of the tips and tricks and best practices that I like to use while working uh, in, in on interior design in Revit. So as you can see over here I've got this floor plan and here we've created a new floor plan. I'm continuing on using the house that I've created in my five part uh, series or five hour course on how to create this whole building where we've created this complicated floor plan with all of the construction details but now for the interior design I've made some changes I've added this uh, kind of hardwood floor pattern but not only that it's not a simple pattern if you go here into edit type you will see that I've not only created a pattern that looks like the actual floor here in the image but also the scaling and positioning is quite correct that's the, the thing that we've set up over here so as you can see the whole hatch is overlapping with the uh, material so or the material image so that's something I show you how to do in this uh, course also I show you how to create some interior elevations so for interior design in the end you need to have interior elevations for pretty much any room or, or all rooms that you you're doing so here as you can see I've got this interior elevation which is a bit different than the exterior elevation as you can see and also here in the project browser if I scroll down here we have elevations for interior and this is the living room so here we have four living room elevations and if I open those up it looks something like this so there you go that's the elevation and we also have bathroom elevations as well also, I show you how to use the split tool, a split face, as well as the paint tool to create uh, different surfaces. So, for example, here for this floor, I want to have a separate surface here for the entrance. So, if you come in with muddy shoes just to the, go to the bathroom, you'll have a tile floor, and then the rest of this floor should be hardwood or something like that. So, that's why we've created this different region over here. Also, I show you how to do something similar here in the bathroom. So if I open up one of these views, you can see we have a different finish because I want tiles to be just to on one part of the wall. And I actually not don't show you just one way to do this. I actually show you three different approaches to doing something like this. So I show you how to do these uh, tiles uh, just by using that split face option. Also an option where you add a different uh, wall or alternatively the best option in my opinion it does take the most time but in the end you're uh, you end up with a wall that you can reuse and that's this wall that has built-in tile and it goes up to well wherever you set it up and it can be a reposition you can uh, change it make any adjustments that you want and it will change with the wall as well and you can use it in future projects also talking about interior design we need to cover the topic of ceilings so usually for residential buildings like this you don't really have that recessed ceiling that Revit offers and that's okay you can use just the floors for ceilings but you cannot really uh, place any light fixtures on that so I show you how to uh, kind of uh, go around that option and as you can see here in this roof it's a sloped roof but we've added a sloped ceiling that follows that roof and we have used that to host some of these lighting elements here on the roof you can use the same thing here on this uh, floor as well just add that ceiling below so I show you how to cover that also I talk about families a little bit so I've downloaded some families and I've used them over here but they weren't perfect the materials weren't matching and things like that so I show you how to edit the families to create uh, parameters like this one for the material so we can actually share materials from one piece of furniture to another to make the whole uh, uniform I guess material feel to the project also I modified this planting family as you can see it looks really nice right now now, but when I've downloaded it it looked like this it was quite silly so I show you how to modify this family from this to get to this so even if you download a family that doesn't look really good you can always uh, modify it and make it look better also here in the floor plan if we take a look at this here you can see we have a little edge now this is really important to add a bit of realism so if I go here in 3d you can see here we have that little sweep that's 
kind of covering up the connection between the floor and the wall and I show you how to do that as a part of the wall so wherever you use this wall it's going to contain that little sweep alongside it so that's really important to know so if you want to know all about these tips and tricks on interior design in Revit, I suggest you check out this course up on my Patreon, first a link in the description of this video. So uh, up there on my Patreon, I've got this course plus 18 more courses on how to create this complete house with all of the plans, with all of the sections. Also, I have some rendering views or rendering courses. I've got courses on schedules and much, much more. So if you want to check that out go to my patreon also there you can find the project files for both this uh, uh, this house this building as well as all of my other revit project files over 300 files so far okay so that's pretty much it for this week's uh, advanced patreon course and i'll be coming back in a couple of days with a regular balkan architect tutorial thank you for watching and have a nice day